Welcome to Ballistic High Speed, where we combine two of the greatest things on planet Earth. Super slow motion. And firearms and firearm physics. I'm Adam. I'm Bryce. Join us on our journey for Ballistic High Speed. Welcome back to Ballistic High Speed. Today we're going to be testing out a bullet-resistant backpack sent to us by Safe Vest. Uh, you may have remembered their bullet-resistant vest they sent us a while back. Um, this is basically, appears to be the same thing, but just in a backpack form. Uh, so we're going to be pushing it to its limits and probably well beyond that. This one is rated for 3A. Um, so we're going to start with a little lighter load. We're going to go 22, 9 mil, and then we're going to go up to 45. And then in true ballistic high-speed fashion, we have a KSG from Keltec here. Uh, we're going to shoot a 12-gauge slug into it. Ballistic Dummy Labs was kind enough to send us a torso with it. Something that emulated a body a little bit better than that pumpkin. Um, this is ballistic gel filled with basically a rib cage and a spine. Yep, and they are supposed to be pretty anatomically correct. If it's going to break your bones, we're going to see it. Yes. So while it may stop the bullets from going through you, there will still be damage. Exactly. So thanks to Safe Vest for sending the backpack. Thanks to Ballistic Dummy Lab, always sending us really good products to test. We appreciate that. Um, if you want anything like that for your channel or your uh, shooting purposes, check them out at BallisticDummyLab.com. Let's get into it. Let's do it. All right. Up first against the bullet resistant backpack is going to be the 22. Weapon is hot. High speed's ready. Weapon is clear. Up next is going to be the 9mm versus the bullet resistant backpack. Weapon is hot. All right, high speed's ready. Weapon is clear. All right, up next, pushing the upper limits of the 3A, 45 versus the bullet resistant backpack. Weapon is hot. All right, high speed's ready. Weapon is clear. All right, well, I assume it did pretty well, but why don't we pull the plate up? Absolutely and check it out. should have. So, a nice, easily removable plate. It's a, well, a soft armor pack. And we have no penetration. As we would expect. Yep, no rips, no tears. 3A should be rated for up to 44 Magnum. So, while we were on the upper limits, we weren't pushing it by any means yet. Yeah. I think the only one that did anything discernible is the 45, right? And there it is. All right, let's get this off and see what happened to the spine here. 22 hole, nine millimeter hole, and then the 45, I mean, about what you expect to get a little bit bigger with each one. So the backpack actually has some nice padding there. So I assume basically nothing happened. I mean, you saw on the plate that I mean, nothing even came close to coming through. Yeah. So this is basically unaffected. And take a look at the torso here. There's basically not a dent on him. Nothing looks cracked or even affected at all. So I think he'd have been okay. I mean, it's probably gonna feel like he got punched in the back really hard. But... Yeah, I'm sure we'll see some of that in the high speed. I say we see what that looks like in high speed. And I think we'll get a little better idea of yeah, what exactly maybe what going on it there. didn't break, but let's go see what happened to him. So first up is the 22. Basically looks identical to when we did the vest. Yep. The thing with these smaller rounds is there's so little energy that it basically disappears and there's not much energy in terms of like rippling. So Hardly think, anything. Yeah, so we didn't need to do 22, but it's good to have that baseline. So if we switch over to, let's say nine millimeter, probably just as fast and definitely bigger. Not a whole lot more though. Not really. And I think the reason why is because we're basically shooting through a thin layer of like nylon or whatever that material yeah. is. So 
not much of the energy is going into that material. It's kind of just going through it. All of that energy is happening behind the scenes. Right, in that plate. Yeah, so from that side angle, we should see if there's any impact making it to that dummy. Right. And that'll kind of like vibrate it a bit. But yep. in terms of handguns through this just backpack, there's not much going on, which, right which I think is a good thing. So we'll check out the 45. Fatter, but slower. I think overall it still has more energy though, right? Yeah. And usually when we do 45 between nine, it is generally a bigger yeah. difference. That's a good shot. Right into our sticker. Yep. And noticeably more energy being transferred through it. This is the only bullet that actually affected the entire backpack. You yep. see it like pulling in from that energy. Okay, well, I mean, this is basically what we expected. Um, I don't think there's a whole lot to see as far as high speed here. So um, like we did with the, the vest, I think we put a 12 gauge slug in it. I agree. That's gonna be an insane amount of energy. And I think we're gonna get some vertebrae cracking. Yep. And we're, def we're separating some ribs. Yeah, and it, it shouldn't make it through if it's the same resistance to bullets, the yep. 3A. Yep, both 3A. So. But I mean, it's, it's pretty much just for the sake of doing it. Yes, it is going to be a different shotgun this time. Okay, so let's check it out then. Let's do it. All right, this is going to be the 12 gauge versus bullet resistant backpack out of this bull pupped KSG. Weapon is hot. Okay, high speed's ready. Wow. separated from the backpack and then stretched out the arm straps and then slapped it back together. Oh, it did. That's kind of cool, I guess. Yeah. Oh, look at that massive oh, ripple. Yeah. Oh, that's huge. Look at that distorting. Oh, gosh. And then you've got all the extra particulates from like the wadding and stuff. That's a lot of stuff behind it. Yeah. I'm surprised, that's called the wadding, right? Yes. I'm surprised yep. that that's going the same velocity. I thought air would slow it down very quickly. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it does shortly thereafter. It's right behind it. That poor torso. We gotta go check it out. Oh, we have to. Let's yeah. go look. Let's see. Oh boy. Well, he's still standing. I'm almost scared to look. That was a lot of energy. Yeah. The fact that the backpack had enough to hit him, come off and back in. Yeah. You ready? Let's do it. All right, so first let's take a look at the entrance here. Can you feel it? Look at that hole. <laughs> Even the water. It goes all the way through. Ooh, it's, it's warm in there. Is it? I can feel the bulge. All right. Oh, wait, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> oh, boy. Ooh, look at that. So it split the seam. Yep. Um, nothing came through. Nope. Looks like the armor pack itself is fine. Um, is anything cracked? Doesn't really look like it. I mean, the wind's knocked out of you for sure. Was that split there before? Oh, no, it wasn't. So there is a laceration. Yep, that's, yep. yep. So that's yeah, probably that's the material of that plate that's like bulged in and like punctured the skin and yeah. then came back out. I bet so. So you'd be bleeding. I really thought we were gonna fracture some ribs or Me something. Too. None of the floating ribs are cracked? Nope. Wow, that's I'm, impressive. You're still knocked out. Yeah, you're going to be on the ground, oh, yeah. but nothing broken. That's wild. That's impressive. Very. Okay. We're going to have some reuse for this guy for sure. Yeah. Gosh. Oh, that looks a lot like it did on the So was this one. the back or the front? This is the back. Okay. So yeah, that's Ooh. where, this is our entry here. Overall, the backpack is still like totally usable. You feel the slug in there? No. No? I was kind of hoping to. It might have broken apart. I don't know. Okay. Well, the good news is that means whoever this guy is lives <laughs> for some of the other carnage we have lined up for yeah. him. So you'll want to uh, subscribe because we've got a very interesting treat for you in the next video. Very. You want to let them know what it is or just let them wait? It's going to be spicy. It's going to be spicy. 
and sparky and flame-like. Okay, it's dragon's breath. It's dragon's breath. It's dragon's breath. Well, thanks for watching this episode. Thanks to Ballistic Dummy Lab for sending these out. Um, yes. Uh, in a future episode, we've got another one filled with organs. That's going to be cool. These are some of the coolest products we've ever gotten. Oh, absolutely. So again, if you if you have any use for ballistic anything in your um, videos, ballisticdummylab.com. Go over there, check it out. It's some really good stuff. You can get it with organs, with with uh, you can get heads. Yep, hands. they have the heads. I think you can get full or most of a body. Yes, yes, you can. You can get. I think they even do arms, legs. Yeah, all of it. Basically, do a whole person if you needed to. Yep. Safe vest. You do an incredible job. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.